Hey, what's going on, world? This is Brandon, Mr. B. Great, and today we're having a discussion. Recently, my oldest daughter Madison asked me, Dad, where do people go when police take them? So I told her they go to jail, and she said, What happens in jail? So instead of me explaining to her what happens in jail, I'm going to let her see for herself. I'm Ashanti, I'm 12, I like fighting, I threaten people, and I'm in the squad. I'm flat with my style and I'm ghetto with my own. I'm ghetto fabulous. I will fight boys and girls. When I'm fighting, I don't feel bad for nobody because they shouldn't have came to me in the wrong way. To me, she just got the attitude where I don't care, I don't give a f attitude about anybody or anything. Over here, Lo. Who said I was? I just said I like to come away. Why you put the game in your mind like you bad? I'm in a game, but I'm not gonna say which one. This crap right here, she said this is for the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood game. Yeah, that's what you think. I'm not afraid of going on the jail floor. We're gonna have some fun. So now, now they're in jail. Because she being bad in school, talking bad to her sister, bad to her mom, bad to her teacher. She's 12 years old. She like fighting and being in games. This is what happens when you be bad. You see that, low? This is what happens when you be bad. They take you to jail. listen to your parents and the police take you guys this is where you guys are gonna go you're gonna go to jail and this is how this is how it is in jail this is the food so right now they're gonna show you the type of food that you'll eat in jail you don't get to pick what you want to eat they choose it for you take a look She do drugs. She likes to fight. talk to you any kind of way you hear that low if you be bad and you disrespect your parents and do what you want to do and, we, and the police come and take you they put you in the car and take you to jail this this is the food that you have to eat look at it see how they talking They want her to eat the nasty. They want her to eat nasty food. You want to eat nasty food? No. That's that's what they give you at jail. They give you nasty food. Look. Okay. 
okay. Put you in, put you in your room. This is your room. You see your room? You see any windows? No windows. Because you're in jail. That's what happens when you don't 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 pay attention and, 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 and be disrespectful to your parents and do drugs and, and, and be drugs? rude. Drugs are are, are like uh, bad cigarettes, um, taking pills that you're not supposed to, bad pills. It's a whole bunch of drugs. So they put you in this room. This is your room. You see where your bed is? That's your bed and the potty. So you potty in next to your bed. You saw the bed and the potty? I didn't see the potty. Let's take it back. So this is where you'll be. You have no TV. This is your bed. This is your potty. So you get up and you poop right there and you gotta smell your own poop. Well, where's the tissue? No tissue. Why? You don't deserve it. You being bad. Why you deserve tissue? Tissue's in the... So take a look. This is where she'll go. Sometimes people get tissue, sometimes they don't. She's 11. She likes to fight and hit people and be mean. Do you see the clothes that they're wearing? They don't get to pick what they want to wear. They don't get to pick it. You see that low? You see the co colors they wear? Black and white. Why do they have to wear black and white? So they know who who who's it, who is who. You got you gotta wear black and white and then a number on your on your clothes. So you'll be number 33, you'll be number 44, I'll be number 45. So they know who, who we are. They don't call you by your name. They call you 33, 45, let's go. Time to go take a shower. You don't want a shower? They put you in the shower. See what, what else happens in jail. She's being mean to her grandma. Jail food, rice. It's probably don't have no 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 seasoning. all of them so this is a restraint chair this is when, when, when you when you're being wild and you're trying to fight you don't like these guys strapping you down into a chair where you're not gonna be able to move now if we decide to leave you in here this is where you stay so I'm thinking the next time you threaten to kill your grandmother you might want to think twice about what you're saying because that stuff's not taken lightly by anybody. You know how that makes your grandmother feel? Makes her feel like crap because she's raising you, but she doesn't have to. She could have let you go to a foster home, right? Yeah. Your grandmother disabled? Yeah. But she still does it, right? Cooks for you, cleans for you, makes sure you have food, clothes. Yeah. So what are you thinking now? I should have ate their food. The you food see, is just a little bitty part of it. You see what they doing? They they put her in the chair because she want she don't want to eat. She want to be mean. You see that? See what happens when you be mean and don't want to eat? And and being disrespectful to grandma and grandpa and mommy and daddy? I'm 15 years young and I feel like I just have the mentality of a 20 year old woman. I'm scared of that. She likes to fight. I like school because I get to see him. 
boys and stuff. Okay. I don't even pie? pay attention to nothing else. Huh? I just pay attention to boys. Who gets the fight? Talk she about likes boys. to fight. Why? Look at boys. They don't have the guidance that they need. Why don't you they fight? You. Huh? What'd you say? In the right way. So they start body. selling drugs, selling their body. For yes. Um, why, why they're not fighting yet? No, they, when they fight, then they take them to jail. They're not going to show you show them fighting because that's not good. Why they're not fighting yet? So this, this is going to show you where, very young where they go. They're the ones that end up in jail. It doesn't matter how pretty you are, nobody's going to do anything special for you in jail. So she's in jail. Anybody can come to jail. You can have a good family, you can be educated. Okay, See their colors? Matter. No one is invincible. Jail happens to anyone. Everyone can get caught, and sooner or later, you will. What is a boy going to do for you right now? He goes to the next police face that's putting half a lip gloss on her lips. That's you want that. a little butt around. That's where he's going to be at. You're not grown. Slow down. You got your whole life to be grown. Why, why, why them tell, why them tell me loud? Okay, huh? this, this is gonna be the last one right here. Why, 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 why them say, you know what? Why you to Listen. Me. Somebody take a guess and tell me who you think you really need to convince. Your parents. A little louder. Your parents. Your parents. We're gonna afford you the opportunity to do just that. Towards the end of the program, if the parents feel like the kid is sincere, it's a possibility that the kid could go home. But if not, they will be staying. Charlie, come on. Yeah, so I can talk to you. Come up here and talk to your mama. You know I'm sorry for being so um, angry and mean. So why are you smiling? I don't think that's sincere if you smile. But I'm happy to see you. Oh, you are happy to see me. That's yeah. why you smile. Yeah. Well, I don't think you're doing anything yet. So, I didn't tell you, but I did bring up overnight for you to stay just, you know, for a few days. You give me a hard time about everything. You don't want to do your room, you don't want to do housework, you don't want to do yard work. And I, I just want you to stay here just, just for a little while, maybe. Yeah. So we can. No! Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Send one of them. I can't, stay here. I can't. Kids family. So what have you learned today? <laughs> that this better place for me. I should have listened to you the whole time. Really? Why do you think you deserve to even go home? Because I learned something that I don't know here. What did you learn? You're not telling me what you learned. Stop stealing and keep and do what I'm supposed to do. It's the same act that always get played. So, therefore, you're not allowed to go home right now. Is that a no, ma'am? That is a no. So we got her back? We can keep her? her back. Okay, thank you. See what happens when you steal? Take stuff that don't belong to you? So you won't, you won't respect me and man, right? And I'm gonna respect me and man you. You won't go home? I got them things? I think they came home. These dollars tonight. Yeah. Are they going to jail? No, you're not going to jail. Look, pay attention. I saw you smiling. How have you changed? Because... They broke me. They broke you? I don't think you broke. I think you need to stay here. So that's a no. You're not going home. Not today. So I'll see you <laughs> next week. I hope she's back. Oh, yeah, we gotta get her. We gotta get her. Mom, bring her back. Bring her Dupree, back. bring her back for a minute. Bring her back. Come here. Mom. Oh, everybody, here it is. Come here. What did you say? What did you just say about your mama? Go into that. Tell me she just said. When she walked away. Oh, what your mama wouldn't even be here. Why you say that about your mom? Because she don't love me. Are you kidding me? She wants better for you. That's why you're here today. That's not true. You want me to die? Tell me she said. And I don't love you? And I make sure you got everything under the sun? Everything. Look at them. Look at the pain. I'm my ass for you, Ketasia. You want me to die? Look at the pain. Do I tell you I want you dead? No, I don't, cause I love you. Come on, here.
inflict death on your mother. Why would you think she said that? Because she had her breaking point, that's why. <laughs> it's a done deal. You're going to stay here. Tonight. Now, everything that you've done and everything that your actions have asked you for, you're going to get it. The same people that brought you here do not want to take you home. You got a place for them? You got a place for them. But I'm crying. Now that one. See, see what happens when you fight? They take you to jail. And, and they're screaming? They scream at you. You don't, you don't, all your rights are taken away. Like, you don't get to do the things that you want to do anymore. Uh, you don't. And scream at jail? Yes, they scream at you. They tell you what to do, what time to wake up, what time to eat, what time to go to the bathroom. You can't see your parents when you want to. Why do I have to talk? Tell you what time to sleep, what time you have to wake up. Because all your rights are taken away from you. You see how we we have freedom and to I go. Know what happens if you say no, no, and, so and they say jail. wake up, and you say so and you say jail, no? Daddy? They're gonna they're gonna take they're gonna take you out of your bed. They're gonna pick you up and take you to where you gotta go. If you say no, that's the all. Shower. They're gonna take you to the shower. Put you in there. And put you in there. All your rights are taken away from you. Now that now we are free right now because we can go to different parks. We can come and sit at this table right now. But when you're in jail, you don't have the privilege to do what you want. That's why it's it's important for us to do good in the world, do good in society. People that do bad, they go to jail and don't have no rights. They get they have to sleep in a hard bed. Poopy and, and, and potty in the same room. And don't have no windows. And then her purple. No air to smell. No fresh air. You can't nope. breathe. Mm-hmm. There's no windows. Can't breathe. Go that way. Go this Let's way. finish watching this. You can almost die in in jail because no windows at all. You can't even breathe. Mm -hmm. Let's finish watching this. So grandma. I knew my mom because she was incarcerated. And you're going to be her? Her? Yes, her? I don't want my daughter to follow the same mistakes I did. The reason why I'm worried about Cortana getting high is because I've seen what it did to my daughter. What's your name? What's funny? What's so funny? Take them out. Take them out. So you ain't gonna take them out. 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 Take them out. You take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Watch it. How, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel upset and sad. Makes you feel upset and sad? I wouldn't want to never, ever, ever go there. You never want to go there? Why? Because it's scary. It's scary? Yes, even though you and you can't breathe. You can't breathe? Mm -hmm. What you, What'd you think about it, Lo? Do you want to go there? I, I, I want to breathe. You want to breathe? You want fresh air? So, so you're going to listen to mommy and daddy when mommy and daddy say, hey, it's time to clean up, clean up your room. It's time to time to eat, time to shower. See, see, this is what happens when people don't listen to their parents and, and they do what they want to do. Daddy, let me tell you something. I wish jail wasn't true. You wish it wasn't true? Yeah. Then, then if, if jail wasn't true, then everybody would be doing whatever they want to do. Stealing 
beating people up, bullying people. So, so if jail wasn't true, and and um, people did bad stuff, what, what you think should happen to them? In jail. Is she going to jail? Yeah, but what if the jail's not true? But if jail's not true, what should what should happen to them? If you be bad and and and, and don't listen and. And, and hit your parents and and beat on your grandma and beat on your grandpa. Then you should stay out of place and be locked in there forever. Even though you get opened up, uh -huh. when it when it opens, you still stay in there and uh -huh. you never get to get out ever again. Even when it gets locked, you have nowhere to sleep, nowhere to pee. So what what would that be if there was no jail? It would be like around here somewhere. So Maybe. they so they can still get fresh air. Yeah, they can still get fresh air, but so how, and how, no food. And no food. You you have to eat in order to survive, in order to keep living. So you wouldn't feed them. So what would you feed them? You'll feed them good stuff. You'll feed them sushi and crabs. No bad stuff. You'll feed them bad stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty much jail. Yeah. That's no, what because you? because you would stay in the corner, like right there. Uh huh. Put a like a gate around around that part, that line to that line. Uh huh. And then you stay by there with no bed, no potty. So you just stand up the whole time. You can sit on the floor because that's how it is. That's you how do, it is. You do something bad, you stay. You sit on the floor. You think that you think that uh make them do good if they have to do that yes but there is a potty but no bed no bed you have to sleep on the floor that's that's fair that's because fair. you do something bad you lay on the floor mm. okay so you guys gonna be good and, and yes I, I never want to to get a phone call from the police saying that Madison is in jail or Lauren is in jail so you got to promise me that you'll be good You'll be good? You'll listen? But what would I do? Where would me? I go? You'll be good? Yeah, but how You'll would listen? I go by myself? What you mean? They'll, the police will take you. No, you, but what if I'm walking outside? How can I go, walk outside and the police calls to tell you? How can I walk so, outside by myself? So and, if, then, and then they listen. caught me and you don't know. So, so listen, when you being bad, somebody can call the police on you, right? So the police will come and take you away, take you to jail. They'll change your clothes and then say, you can make one phone call. Who do you want to call? And then you'll make that one phone call and you tell whoever you want to tell. Does that make sense? And see them again? You might not see them again, depending on what you did. So if you do something really, really, really bad, just stay for a long, long time. But if you do something like um, a little bit bad, then we'll stay there for a little bit. And then when you do something not so bad, then you'll just stay there for a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. After watching the video, how did that make you feel? Upset and sad. Why? Because um, when you go to jail, it's not really a good place because they serve you bad. They serve you bad? They serve like they you give you f bad food, they never treat you well, they they put you put clothes that you're supposed to put on, black and white. You have you have to wake up when they tell you to wake up. If you don't, they'll just snatch you out of the bed and put you in the shower and put you where you gotta go. And it's really, really, really not good to go there. So you got all you all you out there should you, should be good because if you don't you're going to the bad place so all of you out there you sh you guys should be good because if you don't i'm being serious jail is not a fun place now if you guys are being mean to your grandma or grandpa or mom or dad or you're living with someone you better be nice or you're going to go into the bad place jail. You're going to steal? You're going to be bad to your, your parents? You're going to be mean to your parents? Mm -hmm. You're going to be good? Mm -hmm. 
You gonna listen? Yeah. Do you ever want to go to jail? No. Why? Because I can't smell or taste and then get me bad stuff. They, you can't you can't smell fresh air? No. And they give you bad stuff to eat? Yeah. And you don't like that? No. So you're gonna be good? Yeah. Promise me you'll be good. Say I promise. I promise to be good. Be good. This is real life. This is reality. We have to teach our children what's good from bad right from wrong. We can't wait till the law get involved to put them in time out. It starts with us. Get involved! Get involved! I hope you guys love this episode. I'm here to inform and inspire you. If you like a copy of my book, click the link in my bio. Hi, my name is Brandon Akimbi, and I wrote Involved Dad. How to build a strong foundation with your children. And I'm going to read it to you. And the reason why I wrote this book is because I believe that it's certain principles in life that we can teach our children at a young age to set them up for greatness. As long as we are intentional, consistent and persistent, everything else will fall in place. Also to help parents build an unbreakable bond between their children, no matter what the circumstances are. In this book, you'll discover ways to help your child physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Whether you believe it or not, you are your child's hero. You must save them, protect them, and teach them life skills.